even if Trump posted this as to like pander to Christians and Catholics, so what? That's, this is what we want him to do, like to profess God family country, right? And he is doing what we need him to do, right? And again, being the fact that he went through two uh, assassination attempts, it would make sense that he has this, I like, want to invoke and ha ask for prayers from God and from his angel, St. Michael, in this case, for his protection. It makes 100%. Hey, what's up guys? So I'm coming to you with another video. Donald Trump just posted and celebrated the Feast of St. Michael. We gotta talk about this. We, this is that important and it's that serious to be talking about this, right? And obviously my namesake is St. Michael. I'm wearing my St. Michael t-shirt. My dad's Michael and I'm doing a reaction video to Michael Knowles. We're doing a full-on Michael Inception going on here. So, of course we gotta do this, right? And of course, we'll get into that, but of course, if you're new to this channel, what is up? My name is Mitch, I'm Epic Mitch. Hey Mitch, Mitch, all the Mitch is the call signed on, and pretty much all I talk about what I talk about. So, politics, pop culture, everything in between. Be sure to check out all those videos as you're finishing this video, and of course, hit that like, share, and subscribe as a Fiza algorithm. We'll go straight into it, talk about it, see what Michael Knowles has to say, and obviously give my two cents. But, but first, roll intro, and let's get into it. Let's go. yesterday. It was a post on social media by President Trump. I am e downright elated by this post. I'm still yeah. thinking about it. Yeah. Joy uh, <laughs> even this morning. Trump posted a picture, one of my favorite paintings. It's the Guido Reni painting from the 17th century of St. Michael the Archangel. Uh, my patron, of course. <laughs> I'm, I'm named Michael. Yeah. I have this exact painting somewhere on this set. <laughs> uh, though it's a little bit hidden, so you got to try to figure out where it, but it's in my show every single day. And Donald Trump tweeted out the, the St. Michael prayer. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, may humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. That's all he posted. Pause. Um, also, I want to say shout outs to the dudes at Immaculate Conception. We actually hung out for, for in celebration of Michael Mass and St. Michael Lent. Uh, we went to Doc 17, awesome, uh, French toast, phenomenal. And so it was really great to actually um, celebrate this and actually do something um, for St. Michael and all that stuff. Obviously, we did prayers, we did ex this exact prayer. So, obviously, and, and it's not just this one time, we like a lot of us, especially the military dudes. Um, I mean, not just military dudes in general, but like a lot of people um, say the St. Michael prayer in general just for spiritual warfare. Totally love it. Again, all he, all Trump did was just post the prayer, right? And I, and it, and not only that, I think it's super powerful just for him to do that. So we'll get into it. I think Michael Knowles is going to hit on everything that I want to talk about. Robert Reich, who was the <laughs> labor secretary under Bill Clinton. He's a huge lib. Uh, well, not huge. I mean, he's... <laughs> Physically, he's got a form of dwarfism or something, so sometimes people, you know, point that out about him. But he's a huge political figure. He's been a big figure in politics for a long time. Uh, he typified, he exemplified the left-wing reaction to Trump posting this prayer. He says, Trump increasingly suggests that he is God's chosen instrument of wrath and that his opponents are evil spirits to be cast into hell. If you don't find this terrifying, <laughs> you're not paying attention. Just because Trump posted the St. Michael prayer on the Feast of St. Michael. The Feast yeah. of St. Michael, also known as Michaelmas, has been celebrated by Christians for, for about 1,500 years. Veneration of St. Michael's going on much, basically for the whole history of the church. But, but even the, the celebration of a Feast of St. Michael has been going on for about 1,500 years. Uh, it, it is celebrated uh, by all sorts of Christians, uh, Catholics notably, but also the Eastern Orthodox, also many Protestants, Anglicans and Lutherans notably. This is pretty mainstream, pretty widespread, <laughs> and it goes back a very, very long time. This prayer that, that uh, Donald Trump posted was a prayer composed, I believe, in 1886 by Pope Leo XIII, one of the great uh, popes, recent popes, you'd say recent popes because the church goes back a long time. Uh, he composed it after he had a mystical vision of a conversation between God and Satan in which Satan 
said that he would uh, attempt to destroy the church over the next hundred years, and God was going to give him in his permissive will the opportunity to, to do that, to, to prove that the, that the gates of hell will not prevail against the church, and the church will endure. Uh, this Also, the 1880s is this time when communism is really beginning to spread. And uh, Pope Leo XIII took a very hard line against communism. This prayer was was recited after every low mass in the world from 1886 until about 1964. This is uh, this has uh, obviously spiritual import, but it was it was also specifically to oppose the scourge of communism, which is a, a demonic ideology that was spreading at that time and, and which took as its chief enemy uh, God and the Church. Right now, go to hallow.com. Um, okay, and also just real quick, um, one thing that I wanted to mention, other than the guy just, uh, Robert Reich, um, talking about all of that stuff, which is stupid, um, and I saw, like, there was community notes on X talking about, like, hey, this prayer has been around, as, as Michael Knowles has been mentioning by, um, for a while since the 1880s and all that stuff, right? But one thing I want to address, uh, um, address real quick is, even if Trump posted this, as to like pander to Christians and Catholics, so what? That's, this is what we want him to do, like to profess God, family, country, right? And he is doing what we need him to do, right? And again, being the fact that he went through two a, a assassination attempts, it would make sense that he has this, I like, wants to invoke and ha ask for prayers from God and from his angel, St. Michael, in this case, for his protection. It makes 100% and obviously there's stories about uh, out there of him receiving a St. Michael statue from a, a priest. I forgot his name off the top of my head. And so I, I, to me, this is genuine. But if the idea here is that he's pandering to Christians, so what? It, like at least, like if, if this is like, the if the left was posting something demonic, like of course we're going to criticize it. So if Trump is posting something positive, Obviously, we're going to be elated about it. So, yeah. Trump posts this prayer. <laughs> and my, my friend Seamus Cogman over at Freedom Tunes pointed this out. He posts this prayer, which was co composed specifically to um, threaten demons and pray for God's help and St. Michael's intercessory help to oppose demons and the devil. <laughs> and then all these libs got really scared. <laughs> I said, oh, no, hold on, wait. Hold on, you, you've got this prayer that's uh, supposed to, to uh, punish demons? Ah, get that out of here, we can't tolerate that. It uh, shows you just, first of all, shows you how um, wicked the left has become. Yeah. <laughs> Although, I guess the left has been wicked forever. Uh, going back to the French Revolution when they were you know, beheading kings and queens and you know, opposing order and civilization and, and the church. But uh, also... Robert Reich's and the left's reaction to this broadly shows you that religious and historical ignorance mm. among our mm. elite class in America has reached record highs. I'm not saying I expect all of these people to be Christian. I'm not saying I expect all of these people to be moral or virtuous or anything like that. I do expect them to know really basic stuff. I do expect them to know really basic historical aspects. I think that's an interesting and good point. The, I was watching Masters of Air, at least a TV show, and I don't know how true it is to World War II and, and how the depiction of that, but there was multiple times in that TV show, and again, I don't know how true this was in reality, but the, in the first episode, you, you see a bunch of dudes, like there was three instances, I should also do a video on this, of, of people making the sign of the cross, and there was one person that was actually saying the St. Michael prayer. Oh, Black everywhere. May God rebuke him, humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, first into hell, Satan. On that TV show, on the uh, on the Masters of Air, and so. Uh, yeah, again, the, going back to what Michael Knowles is just mentioning right now, the historical fact, this, this isn't anything new um, with the St. Michael prayer and invoking this. And so for for like what he's mentioning, and I agree, for a lot of the left to be very ignorant of what is like church history, it, it it's no surprise why, you know, that one, they're opposed to Christianity, um, and but two, like why they have all of these bad takes of the faith that has defined our whole civilization. I do expect them to have basic biblical and religious history. 
I do expect them to. I, I do expect them to at least like Google stuff you know, <laughs> before they react to it, and they can't. They don't do that. The the blithe ignorance of our elite class yeah. is troubling, even beyond the questions of good and evil, even beyond the religious implications of their manifest ignorance. That was a great. Um, I, I 100% just e echoing what he just mentioned right there like if it wouldn't I wouldn't be so mad like there's bad takes right everyone has there's bad takes everywhere with all that good stuff but like the fact that it is so like like you, you what like he was just mentioning there like you wouldn't even google the most simple stuff but the fact that they're so ignorant and, and like in academia and all this stuff, it just, it just blows my mind. Conversation is so tiresome sometimes when, when dealing with the people on the left because again, their knowledge base is so very little. Again, I'm just gonna do this quick story. Like when I was talking, when I was doing this online uh, Twitter spat with someone online, I was saying like, hey, the Democrats had um, abortion trucks outside of the DNC. And then the person fact checked me, like sent me a fact check. And I was like, the fact check actually verified what I said, but they put in, but it was twisted in a sense that DNC didn't sponsor them. So I said like, bro, your fact check verified what I said. It's just that the DNC didn't sponsor the, the abortion trucks. It's like, well, it's not technically factually accurate. No, there were abortion trucks at the Democrats. The Democrats didn't need to sponsor them, but they were there. And so like again they are they don't have they don't have an idea a lot of these democrats don't have an idea of what's going on and it goes back to ronna reagan's quote um the problem with our liberal friends is not that they're ignorant they just know so much that isn't so and so i'll leave it there i think this is i'll, I'll leave it there in a sense like you know that i'm really happy elated that trump posted this obviously saint michael shout outs to that but i think really other than spiritual warfare which we are definitely living in um, I think it's just really awesome because obviously I think like we need more God in our lives and for him to post this I think well one to me it, it felt genuine but two like it's what we need um, to move this country forward because we have lost a lot of history and religion in general even if you don't subscribe to Catholicism or Christianity as a whole like you have to, you at least at the very least need to adhere to Christian values uh, if, if we're gonna move forward as a nation at the very least you need to adhere to Christian values and so um, I think that's the point I want to leave there so Thank you for watching. Comment below. Tell me what you think about all of this. What's going on with the election 35 days ago? Really crazy. Um, everything's going to amp up to election day. So looking forward to all of that. Um, keep up, keep America in your prayers. God save America. May, and if you can make a difference, Jesus can make the deliverance. So let's do this. Trump 2024. Uh, let's go. So catch me on X, Maverick Mitch on Twitter. On Twitter, Maverick Mitch. On Instagram, Hey Mitch Mitch. So, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace, peace, peace. Be with you. Ecomaspero totuo.